Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 9th day of February 2022, I'd like to take you over to JM Bullion so we can look at the live spot prices. However, they're not available right now, so let's head over to Appmex. Looks like gold is up 70 cents to 1836.30, silver's up 5 cents to 23.37, platinum up $1.70 to 10.53.50, everything's flat. And palladium down eight dollars twenty cents to twenty two ninety five. Now next stop today is Yahoo Finance, and I believe this is out of Yahoo uh, Canada. Yeah, there you go, Canada markets. Um, the commodity gauges that underpin Goldman's uber bullish view by Mark Burton and Alex Longley, Tuesday, February eight, two minute read. It says shortages everywhere, sign of tight supply abound in energy, agriculture, and metals markets number of commodities and simultaneous backwardation and we remember what backwardation is that means the prices are higher now than in the futures markets okay so this is out of bloomberg goldman sachs groups incorporated uh commodities guru says he has never seen markets this bullish before these are the measures that explain what he was talking about they're here. Um, there are more commodities futures, contracts, trading in backwardation, a market structure that indicates scarcity that at any point since at least 1997, that's a total of 19 out of 28 raw materials encompassing everything from energy to grains, according to data compiled by Bloomberg. Commodities trade in backwardation where near-term prices are stronger than those further out when they are in short supply. On Monday, Goldman analyst Je uh, Jeff Curie said the world was in the midst of a molecule crisis. I don't even know what that means. Sounds scary, though. We're out of everything. I don't care if it's oil, gas, coal, copper, aluminum, you name it, we're out of it, Curie said in a Bloomberg TV interview on Monday. Futures curves are pricing and shortages, the like of which has not been seen in 30 years, he added. The strength comes amid a red-hot market for raw materials that has seen the Bloomberg Commodity Spot Index surge to fresh highs already this year in energy markets. Strong demand for oil and gas has outpaced the ability for supply to keep up pace. Metals prices have also buoyed by supply shortages across the uh, the globe, particularly as consumption grows amid a push towards cleaner energy. In agriculture, crop output has been capped by bad weather, with dryness curbing soybean prospects across South America. And at the heart of all this is energy transition. It's going to impact commodities for the foreseeable future. Daniel Hines, a senior strategist at Australia and New Zealand Banking Group Limited, said, uh, spare capacity is relatively low, and it just can't make up for the potential risk to supply, i.e., uh, wanted to share that with you. I thought that was really important because, um, you know, that's a major red flag. Now let's head over here to the United States Mint. There's something happening today I wanted to share with you. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to let you know about the American Women Quarters, the 2022 Rolls and Bags featuring Maya Angelou. Um, here they are. That's a three-roll set, and it's $54. All of these products are in Remind Me status. I believe the um, two-roll set went out yesterday about 3.30, 3.45 in the afternoon. So that one definitely uh, took two days, two and a half days, or maybe a day and a quarter, actually, since it dropped at noon on the 7th. Um, so, yeah, it's all, those, all these products are gone. Uh, and I saw a Facebook post that the Mint said that the uh, best way to obtain these was to hit the Remind Me button and keep an eye out for that. So if you do hit the Remind Me button, it's going to ask either for your email or your text whichever you prefer, or both, really. Uh, and I would go with the text that way, because, you know, usually your phone's always with you. Um, so let's check out what the three-roll set is selling for on eBay, right? So, bam, off to eBay. Now, this is four three-rolls for $719, new listing. Uh, this one is six mint rolls for $480 for $25 shipping. Uh, these are remarkable prices, folks. I think these are higher than the Tuskegee Airmen were when they first dropped. Three rolls, 443. Look at this one here. Uh, we got six rolls for 375, 495. Buy it now. Incredible. You know, I thought these would be somewhere between 185 and 230 dollars. Uh, clearly, I'm a little bit too low on that one because look at these 270, another one with 260, uh, 250 in best shipping or uh, best offer plus free shipping. Look at that. They already got them in hand. Look at that. Uh, these were minted on 115 2022 at 143 15 uh, so one in the afternoon uh, that's incredible that's well were they though or when that was all three were put together in that box hmm that's interesting uh 239 229 yeah so i thought this would be more like it 189 to 250 so maybe this one gives the best range of all of them 189 to 250 because that's basically what we're seeing right now 195 199 198 
and 195 now let's check out what's sold recently here when we click this button now there you go this is uh, highest first so let's go to yeah might as well stay on that because there's only 77 listings this was february 8 three rolls 229 this is february 7 188 192 187 best offer accepted 167 and that was before they sold out or maybe the morning they sold out can't really um, compare those any longer uh, but the people who did purchase those congratulations so if you're going to be obtaining these today to flip them good luck to you and if you're going to try and get these because you don't have them yet and you think they're beautiful good luck to you i hope you both are able to get what you want um now what's happening today this is what's happening today this is the native american one dollar 2022 rolls bags and boxes featuring eli s parker okay and this is the 25 coin roll and there's about what 13 to 16 thousand rolls of those the 250 coin box i think there was about uh just over 1500 maybe 1300 uh products on that one and about 1300 products on this one as well so they were very comparable uh and these two were in the 10 uh, you know 15 16,000 so huge amount of product here uh very limited amount of product on the 250 coin box and the 100 coin bags um and these usually do sell out these when i say these the 250 coin box and the 100 coin bag usually sell out before these ever do if any because i imagine the mint has probably boxes of these 25 coin rolls sitting around since 2008 now it's six minutes 28 seconds in and i wanted to show you something here on coinnews.net from mike unser and they were really uh on the ball yesterday getting these mint numbers out and uh the title of the article is u.s mint sales negro leagues baseball coins bounce um but that's not what i want to talk about um and it, it and 60 percent of the products in the top 10 are from that commemorative coin program so i thought that was really remarkable here's what i want to show you Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars. Look at this. This is kind of doesn't give me hope at all. This is the CC Privy Mark. And look at that. No gain, no loss, no increase. So uh, it's starting to look like these items here where there's just no movement whatsoever. So that could give us some room for pause and reflection, uh, basically making us think that this could be the final mintage of that CC Morgan dollar. So could we start seeing final mintages for the CC and the Denver uh, Morgan Silver Dollars? Absolutely. Uh, because we are seeing that uh, mark there. We don't see a gain or a loss in that particular column. Yeah, so um, here we go. So that could be it, folks. Uh, that could be the, 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 the final conversations that we're going to be having uh, from the Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars, um, you know, for a while. So that could be really interesting, uh, you know, until, until they re-release them uh, later on this year. Now, for my plus one today, folks, I want to thank you all for hanging out this long. Bam, there we go to back to YouTube. And this is a song by The Cure. I've seen these guys in concert quite a few times. And this particular uh, song is called Love Song. And I don't know that it's supposed to be two words there. I think it's one word, but that's okay. Um, they still give a really good attempt at that. So I want to thank them all for appreciating uh, this song as much as I do. So there it is, folks. I hope that you all had a great time while you were watching. I don't even know why I'm saying that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a Silver Stacker, out.